To use a burette, first you attach the burette clamp to a retort stand by sliding it over the bar and turning the screw to make sure that it's steady. Before using a burette, you may need to make sure that it's been rinsed with whatever solution you are using. So first pour a little of your solution into your burette, making sure that the burette is closed with this valve parallel to the bench top. Once you have a little of your solution in your burette, you can rinse by holding it a little more parallel so that the solution is covering as much of the side as possible and rotating so that the solution touches all of the sides. Then you rinse the tip of the burette by opening the valve and allowing some to drain through. Close it again and then you can pour most of the solution out through the top of the burette, rotating again so that all sides are rinsed. To get the last of it, open the valve again so that all of it can drain. Now that your burette's been rinsed, you can attach it to the burette clamp by pressing on this lever. Next, you fill your burette with whichever solution you're using. Again, make sure that your valve is closed and you can place a beaker underneath just to catch any drops that might fall. Once you have the burette full, make sure that you fill the tip as well by opening the valve and then closing it. Next, you can take your initial reading, reading from the top down. Burettes go from zero milliliters at the top to 50 milliliters at the bottom. So in this case, I'm reading about, from the bottom of the niscus, 5.80. It's also important that you make sure all your readings are in two decimal places. Record that initial reading as you'll need it later. As you're dropping your solution into your Erlenmeyer flask, if you know what amount you want to add, you can start by going quickly. And then as you get closer to whichever amount you know you need, you can close the valve most of the way to go drop-wise. Once you have approximately the desired amount in your flask, you read your final reading. In this case, it's 15.15, and write that down as well. The difference between your final reading minus the initial reading is the amount that you've placed in your flask accurate to two decimal places.